Let's now solve some questions on the section 7 testing principles. The first question, why is it important to avoid the best side paradox? Dynamic testing is less reliable in finding bugs. Best sides mixed with static testing can allow bugs to escape detection. Tests should not be context dependent. Running the same tests over and over will reduce the chance of finding new defects. The definition of the best side paradox is when we run the same tests over and over, there is a less chance that we find a new defects. Which of the following is a true statement about exhaustive testing? It is a form of stress testing. Of course not. Exhaustive testing is not a form of stress testing. It is not feasible except in the case of trivial software. Correct. It is commonly done with test automation. No, it is not done. Exhaustive testing is impossible. It is normally the responsibility of the developer during unit testing. Of course not. Also because no one does exhaustive testing. It is not done. It is impossible. So it is not feasible except in the case of trivial software. Which of the following statements best describes one of the seven key principles of software testing? Automated tests are better than manual tests for avoiding the exhaustive testing. Exhaustive testing is, with sufficient effort and tool support, feasible for all software. No exhaustive testing is impossible. And not all the time automated testing better than manual testing. It is normally impossible to test all input-output combinations for a software system. This is correct. The purpose of testing is to demonstrate the absence of defects. This is wrong. We cannot demonstrate the absence of defects. We just detect defects or most of the defects, but not all defects. So the correct answer is it is normally impossible to test all the combinations for our system. Let's see this question. A test team consistently finds between 90% and 95% of the defect present in the system under test. While the test manager understands that this is a good defect detection percentage for her test team and industry, senior management and executives remain disappointed in the test group, saying that the test team misses too many bugs. Given that the users are generally happy with the system and that the failures which have occurred have generally been low impact. Which of the following testing principles is most likely to help the test manager explain to these managers and executives why some defects are likely to be missed? Let's conclude. Our test team finds around 95% of the defects. The test manager is happy with this percentage, but the senior management are not happy with the test team. The users are happy with the system because the failures have low impact. So which principle is useful for the test manager to explain to the executive managers this situation? Exhaustive testing is impossible, best side paradox, defect clustering, absence of error policy. The correct answer is exhaustive testing is impossible. Why? It is impossible to test all input out combinations, which means that it is impossible to find 100% of defects. Next question. A programmer is working on code which is very complex. Which of the following is a general testing principle that may affect his work? Defect clustering, side paradox, exhaustive testing is impossible, absence of error policy. So this programmer has a complex code and he wants to unit test it. It is impossible to test all the combinations and it is very hard to cover most of the modules of this system because it is very complex. So if this programmer uses defect clustering, he can understand which modules are responsible for the most type of defects or the most type of risks and guide the testing to those clusters. According to the ISTQB glossary, the word bug is synonymous with which of the following? Error, incident, defect, or mistake. Of course, the word bug is synonymous with defect or fault.